guys what is up today i have something so cool so awesome and so great i've been waiting forever for this truck first came out of A-Main, I wanted one and I was watching it and I just procrastinated. I didn't get it. I was like, no, you know, there'll be plenty. There were some other things I was focused about at the time and I was just like, no, we won't get it right now. We'll just wait. Well, as soon as I went to go get it, sold out. Go to Sin's website, sold out. You go here, sold out. Everywhere was sold out. So I have every day, at least like, sounds ridiculous, five times a day, checked ebay facebook forums this and that for one of these trucks in galaxy blue there's been some gray ones there has been some blue ones but i did not want to pay what everybody was asking for them it was astronomical i just could not really bring myself to do it i knew what the truck was worth and what it was retailing for and then what everybody was asking was just out of the roof and i just i I couldn't bring myself to do it. Time went on and I just, I had to have one. I couldn't stop. So there we go into me wait, um, watching eBay every day, at least five times a day, going to every selling marketplace I thought I could find and finding one. This one popped up last week. I had just got done playing uh, the PC with some buddies of mine on EFT and I just got on eBay right before I was about to get off the computer and this was posted like two minutes before I got on eBay and I bought it. I, no questions asked, no nothing, I got it. I just had to have it. So here it is. I won't bore you any longer and we'll get straight into it. So guys, this is a, if you didn't already know, a Sin custom truck, technically. It is the Ford F450 Super Duty. This is the Galaxy Blue American Force one. Uh, the other one's a charcoal gray with the red wheels. I didn't really care for that. I love blue. It's my favorite color, so had to get the blue one. Uh, let's get straight into unboxing it. Um, it came in the mail right just like this. I did not like that at all. See, I'm a big box guy. Sounds crazy, whatever, but I'm a big box guy, and the box is messed up in a bunch of places. It's got like tape wrapped around the whole thing, so I'm not the happiest about the box, especially when I paid for it. And everybody's like, oh my god, you're being so anal about a box. But I, I'm very particular, and I just, for what I had to pay for it, I felt like it could have been done way better. There was the packing slip was right here, and then another sticker here, and then like a tracking thing was over here. I already spent time, it took me like 10 minutes, and I peeled all those off, luckily. Um, didn't damage it, there was nothing left over, just some scratches here and there. So. I got all those stickers off, but yeah, that was really weird. Um, the truck did not come in another box. came just like this with the packing slip on it. Really weird. didn't really like that, but it is what it is. I bought it used, so um, let's get into opening her. bunch of paper towels in the box that's not bad at all I feel like kind of like that I guess I won't let it move around in the box it's pretty nice it's pretty nice have a ton of paper towels in the box it's pretty good that's good that's good packaging I like that um, it's absolute ton of paper towels in the box we're still going Ton of paper towels in the box. More paper towels in the box. I think he like gave me like 
two whole rolls of just shop rags. It's pretty cool. I've definitely used those, but wow. Don't think there's any more, so it should be good. First off, let's look at the radio. Um, we have the Amp 30 by Sin 2.4 FHSS dis digital system. Sorry about this little clunky or clunky, but I'll probably just put my Futaba on this, honestly. Um, I mean, it's it's a ready to run radio. It, I'll admit it does feel kind of cheap, but I mean, it is what it is. Thanks. A nine volt, so I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but like I said, I'll probably just switch this truck over to my Futaba uh, 7PX and probably just run it with that. But I mean, not bad for RTR, you know, it, it is what it is. This, this is what we care about right here. This is what we care about. Now, I really did not expect it to be, wow. I did not expect it to be that big. There's more paper towels in the box, by the way, if you're curious. Here she is. It's huge. I did not expect it to be this big. Like, this is my hand. I don't know if that does any justice. Or like, this, this is my elbow. And so it's like, basically, my two arms put together. It's huge, but it's awesome. I'm, this, is, this is sick. This is really cool. This is awesome. Hats off to Sin. They did a great job with this body. This looks awesome. Very good. The mirrors are good. Two-piece body I'm seeing. I think I already knew that, but wow, that's that's really cool. It's really cool. Wow, that's really cool. The chassis here is just very long and narrow, just exactly what you expect, what you see on the pictures online. Those have Traxxas connector solder on there. Get that out of here. We don't want that. Put Dean's back on it. I don't know why there's two Traxxas on it, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna switch that out definitely. But wow, guys, this is this is awesome. So excited. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. This is great. It's so cool. really cool scale body but um anyway after looking at the truck and everything guys i absolutely love it it is so cool it is very scale it looks awesome with the wheels and tires and the body it's very detailed sin did an amazing job massive thumbs up to you guys you guys built a very awesome realistic looking truck i think the rc world's been looking for for a while especially on the scale side um it's I love it. I can't wait to have adventures with it. I can't wait to just mess with it, to customize it, just do everything. I have no intention of reselling the truck. I probably will never get rid of it. Uh, if anything, I'll probably buy another one. But guys, uh, I love it. I can't wait to get out there and mess with it. Um, I'll have another video up soon of going out and pulling a trailer and stuff. This body doesn't really go down with the current trailer setup I have. It's not really sitting on the post. So I'll get another hitch set up on there. Um, I just kind of have this one sitting right there for right now. but. I love it. If you guys can find one and you really want one and you were on the fence about it, do not question any longer like I did. Don't wait. Get it. Don't even think twice about it. 
Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you did like the video, be sure to like it. Subscribe for the content coming up with this awesome thing. I can't wait to see what all I do with it. Um, it's going to be really fun and cool and can't wait to bring you guys along. If you have any uh, comments about it, if you, if you have one, what you've done to it, if you make a trailer for it, or what have you done. Um, I saw one guy on YouTube I watch a lot, uh, thanks to RC Tanks and Trucks. He just put a toy and motor in his. It's just so cool, the customization and just this hobby and everything. It's awesome to see what everybody can do and just make everything their own and personalize it. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.